All right, today we are working on a top sirloin or a boneless beef top butt. Let's get to it. We're gonna start on this end here. I'm gonna wedge out this chunk of fat. I'm gonna pull it all the way off of there. Big wedge of fat. Set it aside, a little more out of there. Square up this back end here. that fat off, pitch that into the lean grind, that into the extra lean. Come to the bottom here. This muscle is called the mouse muscle, it's very gristly. We go ahead and pull it off here in our meat shop. Just take it all the way off, follow the seam. And just pull it all the way off of there. Pull that fat out, toss in the trim. That. Trim that up. Hitch it over into the trim. We utilize all of our trimmings. Um, anything that's fatty, we lean out with whole muscle meats, such as round, inside round, bottom round, some sirloin. Set that aside. Okay, right there is a bit of bloodshot on the corner of that. We're gonna go ahead and pull that off of there. Well, there's a bone scraper flying into the screen. Let's get rid of that blood shot. Just take it all the way off, throw it away. You don't want that in your grind. You got this seam right here. That separates the cap of the top sirloin, which is also called the culotte. I'm gonna pull the two apart. You can get in there with your hands and just pull it right apart. It'll almost all the way. Take your knife and finish it off. Follow the seam. Let's set that cap aside for now. And we're gonna go ahead and peel all the fat off the top of these. We sell all of our top sirloins completely peeled. So we're gonna pull all that fat off the top. You certainly don't have to do that. You can leave eighth to a quarter of an inch, whatever you prefer. This is just the way we do it here in our shop. Continue to pull that fat cap off of there. Toss it up into the trim. You can do the same. You can save your trimming, save your fat. If you get a piece of round or bottom round later on down the road, you can add it to it, grind it up, make some good burger. Let's get it squared up a little bit. You can see on this back end of the top sirloin, the small end, it's really gristly. So we're gonna go ahead and get in here and take about an inch, inch and a quarter piece off. Get all the way through that gristle. There we go. Separate out the fatty from the lean piece. Set that aside. Sharpen up a little bit. Okay, we're going about an inch and a quarter. Gonna get about four steaks out of this. Austin in the background there. That's just a nice full cut top sirloin steak right there. We'll get four full cuts and then a little piece off the end there. I'm gonna go ahead and square that up a little bit. Split her in half. And we're gonna do about one inch cubes for some kebab meat. Top sirloin makes excellent kebab meat. You can do some stew meat, stir fry. You can toss it into your extra lean trim as well. We like to use it for kebabs. Chunk the rest of that up. And we typically split these into thirds. That tail piece was a little on the smaller end, so we'll just go halves on that. And get about 10 ounce steaks out of that. Looking at about eight ounce steaks out of the others that we cut into thirds. Cut it to whatever size you want. You don't even have to make steaks out of all this. You can do more kebab meat. Stir fry, stew meat. Get those all cut up there. Makes great stroganoff. All right, let's toss the rest of that fat into the trim there. We'll move these steaks aside for now. 
so we can work on that cap. All right, here it is, the top cap, also known as the culotte, or a picanha. We're gonna go ahead and get this sucker trimmed up. I'll show you how to trim it for a picanha roast first. Just gonna follow around down that seam, cut that wedge of fat off of there. Peel this fat off the top here. Just keep working around. I like to work it down to about a about an eighth of an inch. Square up those ends, take off the points. That's a little vein that runs on the bottom side of there. Pull that out. There you go. There's your top cap. Now we're gonna whittle this down to about about an eighth of an inch. If I was gonna do a picanha roast, this is exactly how I would trim it down. Don't need much more than an eighth of an inch. And just keep working your way around the top of that cap, knocking off the high points. So you get to where you feel like it's enough fat for you. Normally I wouldn't even bother doing this, but I wanted to show you how we would do a picanha or a top cap roast. We would normally peel that whole cap right off of there. There you have it. It's pretty clean. Trim a little more off these edges. And there's a little piece of gristle that runs right underneath the, the meat there. Let's we'll cut it out. Got my roast out of the picture there. Sorry about that. There it is. It's a beautiful picanha roast or a top cap roast. Salt, pepper. Cook on high heat. I'm going to peel that cap off. There we go. Not bad. Square it up a little bit. Take those thin edges off. And then we're going to cut about a one inch slice on these. You could use those for steaks just like that. But we're going to go ahead and turn this into more kebab meat because that's what we like to do with it. The top cap or the picanha roast hasn't really caught on around here yet. We've tried it a few times, but people just don't know what it is. All right, let's lay out our kebab meat here. Looking good, a little more trim. Like to keep those pieces about as even as we can. Anything that has thinned out ends, we toss into the trim. All righty. Well, there you have it. Let's get a look at these steaks here and these kebab pieces. There it is. Top sirloin, peeled, trimmed, steaks and kebab meat. There you have it.